Hi everyone, so we're continuing working on our Laurel Birch inspired um, cats or fantastic felines and these are the finished examples and last class you drew your cat onto one of your painted papers, either the warm color paper or the cool color paper. That was your choice and you could choose if it was sitting up or if it was going to be stretched out and for my example I chose the warm color paper and I chose for my cat to be sitting up. So you can see in the examples that these finished cats have lots of different patterns inside of their bodies, just like Laurel Birch did with her cats. And so for today, you are going to draw patterns inside your cat, and then you can use Sharpie to outline and color in some of those um, patterns. So you can have black and metallic Sharpies as well. So you can decide what pattern you want. Anything is fine. A pattern is any line or shape that's repeated. And so maybe this cat, I will have um, circles. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a bunch of circles. If you feel more comfortable starting this with pencil, you can do that and then you can trace it with Sharpies. I'm just going for it. And maybe in the face, I'll do a different type of pattern. I like these little rectangle stripes here. And maybe I'll do curving arched lines there. And maybe a few dots here in the face for the whisker points. Okay, I think I'm going to do an extra line below the eye. And maybe some eyelashes for this one. All right, and now I can take my metallic Sharpies and maybe I wanna do an extra two circles inside of these circles, create a pattern that way. Okay, and then maybe up here, I can use this Sharpie and fill in a few areas up in the face. I'm gonna be careful to color around. The metallic Sharpies will cover up the black Sharpie, so you wanna be careful not to cover up too much black if you wanna keep the black there. I forgot a couple of circles over here. Okay, and once you're happy with your design, if you have time today, um, you're gonna actually, before you cut it out, you're gonna cut it out, but before you do that, you're gonna take your black Sharpie and make your outline a little thicker just around the outside. This is gonna help to really make your cat stand out when you glue it onto your other um, painted paper. And it's also gonna make cutting it out a little bit easier. And just remember when you are cutting it out, try to stay on the outside of the black line, always pointing 
the scissors away from your body. You can cut off the extra pieces that get in the way. Take your time. And cut it out nicely. I cut off the whiskers there, I'm okay with that. But if you wanna to try to go carefully around whiskers, you can. Have fun.